All right, guys, so now we're going to be talking about Marvel Legends. The Toy Fair Marvel Legend reveals uh, a lot of the stuff Hasbro put up official images for their new stuff. Uh, the Scorpion looks so cool. This looks great. They, they're putting out a great variety of characters. Now, personally, I'm not going to pick up a lot of them. I'm a big Marvel fan, but I don't need every single one of these Marvel characters. I'm really picky when it comes to Marvel Legends, but either way, like this Cannonball looks freaking amazing. Um, we're getting a, a you know the Captain America in the uh, in the 80 years, the Marvel Legend 80 years. The Doppelganger is definitely going to be a pickup for me. Uh, we got another Spider Man that we're going to be getting. I mean. We're getting a lot of stuff. This is, I think this one's based off of the new movie. I don't really do mo uh, legend movie figures for the most part, but it's still cool to see a lot of you know the products from there. This is definitely a pickup for me, the Hulk and the Wolverine. Definitely going to pick that one up. Same thing with Juggernaut and Colossus. Love how these look. Um, you know, but yeah, we're getting a great variety of characters. I mean, we're getting a Dazzler. Look how cool that looks. And we're getting the, the Toy Biz X-Men you know, the uh, Cyclops looks freaking amazing. Uh, we're getting a Marvel Legends uh, Iron Man and Iron Spider. Look at this, the Ant-Man and the Wasp, the Michael Pena's character. That's hilarious. This new Nightcrawler is another great figure. And then the Mr. Sinister. The, the Mr. Sinister looks freaking great. This guy looks so awesome. And then um, we got, I think this one's already out though, right guys? The Black Panther, uh, is it, Shuri, I think her name is. This uh, Silver Samurai looks amazing. This is another one I'm definitely going to pick up. It has that vintage card packaging. Uh, Thor Ragnarok figures. Not sure if those are out or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen them before. If not, it might be a new two-pack. Uh, we got the uh, new Stealth Suit Spider-Man. Looks pretty cool. And then we're getting a two-pack. Uh, from Captain America Winter Soldier. That looks like a pretty decent set. Here's the new Thor that's going to become, I think this one's going to be in the 80 Years Legends. And this new Wolverine freaking looks awesome. They usually knock it out of the park with a lot of the Wolverine characters. But yeah, Marvel Legends is doing their thing. We, we're getting a variety of characters. They look great. The molds look great. Um, but I want to know your guys' thoughts on this. Are you guys, in the, Which ones you guys plan on picking up? Which one you guys just plan on passing? I mean, let me know in the comments below. Um, I know a I mentioned this before. I know a lot of you guys think I don't collect Marvel Legends. I actually do. I'm just very, very picky on the the legends and especially the characters. Just just the characters mainly because, um, like for instance, let's use for an example like Mister Sinister. Diamond Select is doing a really great Mister Sinister. So usually I'm good with stuff like that if it's like a like like a statue or something, it's something that's a little bit more detailed. But if it's a character I really love, I I'll pick it up. Like that Jewel Jubilee, I'm gonna pick up. This whole entire Caliban wave, I'm definitely gonna pick up, man. I mean, you know, I'm a big fan of Forge, uh, Beast, Gambit, of course. I mean, Gambit, a new, a new Marvel Legends Gambit's gonna be coming out. Uh, but yeah, the Caliban wave, that, that entire wave is a definite pickup. This Weapon X figure looks so freaking detailed and just looks great overall. Um, but like, like I said, guys, uh, Marvel Legends is going to be coming really good and strong for 2019. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be doing the same thing with 2020. There's a gambit right there. I love how he comes with those extra cards. And of course, they had to include his staff. Still waiting for them to do a, a figure with him holding on to a cigarette. Doubt that's going to happen. But how cool would that be, guys? Um, but yeah, Marvel Legends is doing big things. Really excited to see, you know, what else is going to be coming out. I mean, tomorrow is the last day of Toy Fair, so who knows if there's going to be any other surprises. Whatever happened to the 12-inch Legend line? You guys remember that? They had 12-inch, you know, they come out every now and then. I mean, is that line done? Is it still going on? I have no idea. But like I say, guys, I want to know your guys' thoughts on the reveals, which ones you plan on picking up, which one is a pass, and what do you think about Marvel Legends overall? Let me know down below, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys soon. This Beta Ray Bill looks sick.